hi hello welcome back welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video in today's video we'll be writing postcards and sending them across the world using the website postcrossing.com our first card goes to Czech Republic and this person likes illustrations books and city postcards I think that gives us a fair amount to work with because they like books and illustrations I thought a great place to start would be this box set of Winnie the Pooh postcards I got this from Vinted it was a great deal, I didn't pay full price, but obviously I had to pay postage on top. So it's quite a nice big box, I originally I think 100 postcards in there, so plenty to choose from. Now for the exciting part of picking out the stamps. I keep my stamps in this little box here, so looking through here, trying to pick a stamp that goes with the front of the card. Um, I've got quite a few colourful cartoon uh, stamped here. Paddington was a recent addition from the Royal Mail, I think a couple of months ago, so I've got a couple of those left. Um, I'm just wondering if Paddington and Winnie the Pooh go together. They're both bears, they're both cartoon bears from children's books and both British authors, so I think they do. And then just positioning those stamps on there before I stick them down found with the postcards being quite small this is the best way do the stamps first rather than the address or the message and then I know how much room I have to write on the card and as these are going internationally I use two stamps use that air mail sticker there the prices do change with Royal Mail quite often so it's well worth checking which stamps cover it. I find if I use a first class stamp or two first class stamps that gives me the best choice for designs. One of these stamps has got the new QR code and the other one doesn't so I like the mix of that. Obviously I'll write the full address on off camera. If you like this video please like and subscribe. Both are completely free and they help my channel far more than you could know. If you write postcards what do you tend to write let me know. Or what sort of things do you like to receive on a postcard? Where do you mostly look? If you're a postcrosser yourself what bit do you like the most? Do you like the card design, the stamps, the postmarks, um, the messages, the air mail sticker, you know, what, what sort of thing do you look for? The decoration, the stickers, what sort of thing do you look for in your postcards when they pop through the letterbox? What is it that you like most about receiving them? I know there's so many aspects of sending postcards and receiving postcards. There's so many varieties out there and everyone does them slightly differently, don't they? I hope I'm giving you some tips and tricks and ideas as you watch this. I know from receiving cards through the post I often get great ideas from seeing what other people have done. There's great creativity when writing a postcard it isn't simply writing a message on there. If that was the case we'd just send a text message and be done or send an email and be done. The happiness with snail mail is far more about everything else that goes into it that you just don't get with a text or an email even if you put a picture with it it's not quite the same as it's i wonder if you're someone who uses postcrossing.com if you're someone who prefers to send the postcards and you enjoy creating the postcards and picking them out or the best bit about postcrossing for you is receiving the postcards or is it perhaps a little bit of both So moving on for a moment to focus on stamps, the Royal Mail has released Spice Girl stamps. Yes, you heard me, Spice Girl stamps. <laughs> Obviously the girl band famous in the 90s, they went on a world tour. I'm not sure if that included the whole of the world. 
I have to admit, I went to one or, one or two, um, perhaps three of their concerts. And one of these stamps, the one with Emma Bunton uh, at Wembley, I went to that concert. It, it may have had more than one night at the venue, um, but chances are I was in the audience when that photo was taken. I can't quite believe it's been 25 years since the Spice Girls released their first single, Wannabe. And actually, in 2026, it's going to be 30 years. I'm not sure I ever believed I'd see them on stamps. But then again, at the time, they were on everything, weren't they? Pepsi cans, Walker's crisps, chubba chub lollies. I went to my local post office and they had these. They stock the special edition stamps. And I thought, yeah, I'm not going to collect them, but I am going to use them on some of these postcards. Our second card goes to Finland and this person likes cats. Gardening. Um, and an underwater theme. So thinking about cats, I have this selection of postcards from Beatrix Potter. She's famous for her drawings of animals, farm animals, um, domestic animals. There's a couple of cat pictures in here. I'll have a look at and see which one to send today. Which one would you pick? So I've picked this one. Beatrix Potter, another famous author from Britain. Um, she wrote and illustrated her own books around 100 years ago. There's a great film with Rennie Zellweger and Ewan McGregor uh, called Miss Potter and it's well worth a watch. So and now deciding to decorate this postcard I've chosen a stamp here the flower stamps I actually found in my local charity shop it was a fantastic find but they're a fair few years old now so my most recent video the video I released last week um, was thrifting or charity shopping as we like to call it in the UK and I went to nine charity shops in Chichester to see what I could find and I was pleasantly surprised I'll leave a link in the description box below and at the end of this video so do keep watching until the end and you can journey with me around Chichester popping in and out of these nine charity shops lovely lovely small little charity shops that we have in Chichester all in very historic setting Cathedral City so I did have a splurge and at the end of the video I show you the items that I picked up and the bargains I got so if you're interested do stick around for that. So as I mentioned before some of my postcards I found on vintage.com um, I've also found them before on Etsy and eBay it's always worth keeping an eye out I've found them in charity shops I say I've found stamps in charity shops there is so much out there. People often um, declutter and let go of items. Perhaps they don't know about postcrossing.com and don't have as many people to send postcards to.
third postcard goes to China. They like Harry Potter, cartoons, and food. One of my favourites here is this Where's Wally book of postcards, again another vintage find. Um, these are quite thick postcards and they come in this book here, so I'm just flicking through and looking at some of the images. Um, these remind me of the books when I was a lot younger. This was the most popular book in the school library when I was in junior school. Um, a little bit cheating there because it didn't have any words, but at least we were using the library. Um, so I'm going to choose this one for them. I wonder if you can spot Wally or Waldo. He's called Waldo in America. So did you have this book growing up? This is a cartoon with lots of tiny little figures on there depicting a funny scene. And you're looking for Waldo. He's got a special outfit. I think it's, it's red and white stripes and a bobble hat. And you have to look for him within this scene and see if you can find him. And as you're looking, you'll see lots of comedy moments happening within the scene. You'll also see people that are dressed like him but not him and it's yeah it's entertaining it, it really takes your focus on this occasion I don't have a Harry Potter card but what I do have is these Harry Potter stamps so I'm going to pick one out and I think Dobby with his sock is probably one of the most recognizable characters I hope the person appreciates this Harry Potter stamp I say I always try and have either Harry Potter cards or Harry Potter stamps in my collection being from the UK it's something I see so often people requesting and we do get quite a lot of cards here the Royal Mail has done a series of stamps I can think of at least three over a number of years stamp series they've done with Harry Potter various designs sometimes the animations sometimes the actual actors they have cards that come with those there's a lot that we can access but also living in the UK I'm not too far from the Warner Brothers studio although I've never visited that would be a great source of Harry Potter postcards the shambles in York which is a historic alleyway that perhaps Diagon Alley is based on and they now have a lot of Harry Potter themed shops so that's fantastic if you want to pick up some cards and feel like you're uh, maybe in Diagon Alley although the shambles was always fantastic even before the Harry Potter theming came along um, and then in London there are shops that sell Harry Potter merchandise. Um, there's a shop in London which is fantastic for browsing and I believe it's run by some of the people who did the animations for some of the films. Um, and they've got books and posters and it's all it's all very much with the theme of the films. Now I have heard that the Harry Potter films are going to be refilmed and re-released with new actors. Um, I can't quite believe that is going to happen it doesn't feel five minutes ago although friends have reminded me you know how how old the actors are now yeah that really puts it into perspective i'm not sure how the new harry potter films will look um how they'll go about that would be interesting to see obviously technology's moved on do you like harry potter will you be watching those if you get to this point in the video uh, let me know you've got all the way to the end and put Diagon Alley in the comments. Everyone else will wonder what we're on about, but let me know. That'd be a great way to see that you've got to the end. Um, uh, yeah, that'll really make me smile. So thank you for watching. I will be posting new videos each and every week. So do keep watching. Until next time.